fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. One Silver. Let's go, big fella. I'll Silver. The two deputies lounging in the sheriff's office in Stockton straightened up and looked attentive as the sheriff hurriedly entered. Hi, Sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, men. I just came from the telegraph office. What's happened? Plenty. A telegram just came from Pecos, and I don't like what it says. Now, listen to this. Trigger Strong escaped. Thought to be heading for Stockton or vicinity. Signed, Marshal Cushing. Uh, I don't see anything to get upset about who's Trigger Strong. Why, you lunkhead? What kind of deputy are you anyway? Don't you read the handbills that come here? Well, I don't get much time. Not reading. much time? By Jiminy, all you do is sit around gabbing all day. I've heard of Trigger Strong, Sheriff. Well, glad someone around here did. For your information, Joe, maybe you recollect a big, tough hombre who ran amok here two years ago and killed two cowpokes at the cafe before they could even draw? Well, sure, I remember that, Sheriff. And maybe you and Buck both recall the rough, tough hombre who busted through this territory less than a year ago with a partner robbing and killing? Oh, I remember that, hombre. He led us on a wild goose chase and came right back through town and robbed the hotel while we were hunting him in the hills. <coughs> That's right. Buck? Well, it was Trigger Strong who did all those things! Jump in Jupiter! Do you think we'd recognize him if he comes here to Stockton? We're not going to wait for him to come into town. We're going to try to catch him before he gets near Stockton. Now, I want both of you to get all the townsmen you can to come here this afternoon ready to ride in the posse. Now, get out of here and round up those men for me. All right, sir. <laughs> Two men rode leisurely along the trail some distance from Stockton. One of them was a small, thin man with squinty eyes. The other, a big, tough-looking individual. The larger man finally started a conversation. Squint, I'll see that you get paid back for what you did to help me get away. Oh, that's all right, Trigger. But frankly, I think it's local for you to show up in this territory. I told you the sheriff in Stockton is a handbill on you, tacked up in front of the jail. I know what I'm doing. It's because of something else you told me that's bringing me here, Squint. Yeah, why? Remember telling me about seeing a masked man in an Indian camp near Stockton? 
The hombres who have the white stallion and the paint horse. Yeah, but what do they have to do with you? Ever hear of the Lone Ranger? Lone Ranger? Sure, what about him? He rides a white stallion, has an Indian friend who rides a paint. That mask man is the reason we're coming here. You mean that masked man inch in the trail in you and you want... You got it all wrong, Squint. You see, we're trailing the Lone Ranger. What? Trigger, I... I admit you're smart and all that, but I still can't savvy a trail in the hombre who was smart enough to catch you once. Squint, I never forget when someone does me dirty. I didn't like him butting in, helping the law. I aim to get him for it. How are you going to do it? I'll explain what I'm going to do after we reach the hideout we're heading for. Let's hurry. Get back. Come on. Come on, get up. Get up. Lone Ranger and his Indian companion, Tonto, were on their way to Pecos. They stopped to camp in the hills outside of Stockton, and Tonto rode into town for supplies. That afternoon, he returned to the camp. Well, Tonto, any news in Stockton? Ah, me hear news that not good, Kimasabi. Oh, what? Well, Sheriff get telegram from Marshal in Pecos. It say, killer outlaw, trigger strong... Escape from jail. It say him headed this way. Oh, that is bad news. I warned the sheriff in Pecos that Trigger might try to escape and to be on guard. I wonder how he got away. Mm, I'm not say. That's not important. The main thing is Trigger Strong's at large. He's a dangerous man, a ruthless killer. Ah, him mean, tricky like mountain cat. He must be recaptured. I wonder why he's coming this way. Oh, him big fool. Him soon reach border, him go other way. That's just the point. Well, we'll watch for him and do all we can to help in his recapture. Later that day, Trigger and Squint stopped in front of a small farmhouse a few miles from town. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, this is the place, Squint. Whose place is it? You sure we can trust him? Sure. The fellow used to ride with me. He lives here with his old lady. As far as everybody knows, they live respectable. But they make plenty by hiding out outlaws like us from time to time. Come on, let's go in. I sent them word to expect us. Well, how are you, Trigger? Fine, Jerry, just fine. Come on in. Ma's expecting you. Good. Hey, Ma, come here. Trigger and his friend just got here. Well, well, glad to see you, Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I told Jerry it'd take more than prison bars to hold a tough hombre like you. <laughs> you were right, Ma Krebs. Oh, by the way, this is my partner, Squint. Meet Mrs. Krebs, Squint. We call her Ma Krebs. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Don't care what they call me, just so they pay in advance for hiding out here. <laughs> uh, glad to meet you, Squint. <laughs> same here, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, same old Ma. <laughs> well, we're staying maybe a week. How much will that come to? Since you just threw out a hint, I'll pay you part of it now. I reckon a hundred dollars a night will take care of it. What? Give me half in advance. Hundred dollars a night? Uh-huh. That's seven hundred dollars. Well, Jiminy Ma, you ought to go out as a road agent. <laughs> Use the same methods. None of your lip, Trigger Strong. <laughs> a poor widow woman like me has to live, you know. Jerry can't earn enough to take care of both of us. <laughs> well, you'll get along all right. <laughs> all right, here. Half in advance. Thank you, Trigger. Thank you. Now make yourselves right to home. Yeah, we ought to. We're paying almost enough to buy the dump. <laughs> uh, tell us, Trigger. We were wondering what brought you down this way after your escape. Yeah, I'm mighty curious to know what it's all about, Trigger. Well, I came here to get even with an hombre called the Lone Ranger. But that's one hombre it's best to stay away from. Yeah, Ma told me about him. He's dynamite. I tried to get Trigger to forget the whole thing, but he won't listen. That's right, Squint, I won't. Now, you listen to me, all of you. 
I'll tell you the plan I have for trapping the Lone Ranger. The following morning, the Lone Ranger waited in a wooded grove at the edge of town while Tonto went to seek further news. Later, the Indian returned. Oh, Scott, oh, fella. Easy, Scott, easy, fella. Any more news in town, Toto? Ah, passing that fine trail of Trigger Strong. Them still watch trail from Pecos. Oh, what else? Uh, old woman come to hotel during night, and her ask questions about Lone Ranger. Go on. Her say her in plenty trouble, need help. Did you find out who she is? Well, clerk say her widow Krebs. Her live on farm outside town. I've never heard of her. Me not hear of her. Man at hotel say, old woman plenty upset. I'm curious to know why she wants to find me. Well, her not say. Just say her in trouble, need help, ask about you. Hmm. If she's really in trouble, we'll do what we can for her. Isn't that right? Is she still at the hotel? Ah. I'll give you a note to take to her, Toto. Then bring her out here to talk to me. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue. It was past noon when Tonto arrived at the grove with the widow Krebs who drove a buckboard. Oh, oh, scout. Yeah, oh. Easy, scout, easy, scout. My Indian friend found out in town you wanted to see me, Mrs. Krebs. Yes, yes. Oh, thank heaven I found you. It was good of you to get in touch with me. I'm sure we haven't met before, yet you seem familiar. No, no, we've never met. I heard you were in this territory. I... I thought if I stayed in town a day or two and asked about you, you might hear I wanted to see you. I'm glad you did. Who told you I might help you? A friend told me, mister. Oh. A friend who has seen you and knows a lot about you. Uh, but that doesn't matter. I, I need your help if you're willing. Uh, tell me what's wrong. It's about my boy, my son, Jerry. He's all I have, and he's in trouble. Go on. Well, a few years ago, when he was 17, he was mixed up for a short time with a gang of outlaws. Jerry's big for his age, you see. Well, he refused to take part in what they did and finally got away and came back home. Oh? For his sake, I left the far south and came here. We're buying a small farm now, and we've been doing right well. Not long ago, one of the outlaws saw Jerry and followed him home. He insisted Jerry go back with the gang. If he don't, his past will be told and he'll go to jail. Jerry's a good boy now and living straight, but he doesn't know what to do. He wants to go away and hide someplace. I understand. He made me promise not to talk to the sheriff. I heard of you and decided you were the only one who could help us. 
If you'd be willing to talk to Jerry for the sake of an old woman, I, I'd bless you for it. All right, Mrs. Krebs. I'll ride out with you to talk to your son whenever you're ready. I'm mighty grateful to you. Mighty grateful. Kimasabi. Yes? Yeah. Me go to farm with you? No, Tato. You wait at our camp until I get back. I'll go with Mrs. Krebs to see her son alone. I'll meet you after sundown, then take you out to the farm, mister. Better for us not to be seen on the trail by daylight. Oh, I'll be waiting here for you. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll go back to the hotel and drive out here at sundown, then. Adios, mister. Adios. Adios. Get up there. Get along now. Get along. What you think a story with a towel, Kimasabi? She's an elderly woman, Tonto, and seems sincere. But I'll tell you what I think as we go back to camp. Let's go. Mrs. Ah. Easy, fella. Monsilly! Come up, That afternoon, Trigger Strong was talking to his friend Jerry at the farmhouse. So the mask man and Indian fell for your ma's yarn, huh, Jerry? <laughs> yeah. She told me to tell you and Squint the plan is working just great. The masked hombre will come out here alone tonight. Fine, fine. All right, now here's your plan. Mm -hmm. You'll be here in this front room when your mother arrives with the masked man. Make him sit in this chair with his back to the kitchen door. Right. Squint and I will be in the kitchen with the light out and the door slightly open. While you put on your act with the masked man, I'll put a bullet in his back. Just before sundown, as the Lone Ranger prepared to leave camp to meet the Wetto Krebs, he talked to Tonto. Remember what I've told you, Tonto. Uh -huh. And do exactly as I've said, and I'll be sure of what I'm doing. Uh -huh. You not worry. Good. It'll be dark by the time I meet the Wetto. I'll see you later, Tonto. Adios. Adios. Come on, Hilde. After dark, the men waiting at the farmhouse set the stage for what they hoped would be the final showdown with the Lone Ranger. Yeah, they ought to be coming soon. <laughs> Jerry, place that chair with us back to the kitchen door like I told you. Sure. There. Is that the way you want it? Yeah. Squint, you have your gun ready, too. You won't have a chance with the two of us covering him from the dark doorway. Well, I sure hope it works out. It will. This is one trap the Lone Ranger is going to walk into and never get away from. A short time later, the Lone Ranger and Mrs. Krebs stopped at the farmhouse. Oh, 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 there. Let me help you down, Mrs. Krebs. Thank you. Well, there's a light in the front room. I reckon Jerry is there waiting. Good. Come in, mister. Thanks. Jerry, son, I brought the man we hoped could help us. This is the Lone Ranger. Dark on it, mister. It's sure mighty nice of you to agree to help Ma and me. Your mother told me you were in trouble, Jerry. Perhaps you'll give me details. Yeah, sure. Uh, sit down right there, mister. Uh, I'll tell you everything. Thank you. Well, I'm listening. Well, it might interest you to know that a well-known outlaw, one the law sure would like to catch... Got in touch with me. Your mother told me of that. She said the outlaw you speak of is trying to force you to go back with the gang. Isn't that it? You shouldn't what? believe all you hear, mister. Who said that? <laughs> Sit where you are and don't make a move. I got a gun pointed right at your back. So, Mrs. Krebs, that story you told me was just a trick to get me to come here. <laughs> sure it was, mister. My friend Trigger Strong has a score to settle with you. Trigger Strong, huh? I thought I recognized that voice. This is the last time you'll ever hear it, mister. I'm aiming to plug you right now. No, you not do that, Trigger. I tried to tell you that you've got two guns. Me hold them at your back. It's the Indian. Hey, Ma, I thought you said the masked man came out here alone. Good work, Tonto. I have the widow and her son covered. He must have sneaked in the back door behind us. Right. I didn't fall for the widow's story. I'll hang anyway if I'm caught. I'm going to plug you, mister. Before the outlaw could pull the trigger, Tonto landed a heavy blow on the back of his head with one of his guns. Trigger Strong fell to the floor. I'll fix you, Redskins. Hold it. Oh. 
While Toto's attention was given momentarily to Trigger, Squint turned, gun in hand. The Lone Ranger saw his movement. Mister, drop your gun. Suddenly, the widow slipped a gun from her blouse and quickly moved behind the masked man. I have a gun at your back, and I sure know how to use it. The Lone Ranger hesitated a moment. Then, with an unexpected move, he kicked back, striking his boot against the widow's shin. I'll keep my gun. As the woman bent over in pain, the masked man whirled and grabbed the gun from her hand. I'll take that. I'll get him off. Quiet. Oh, I didn't expect you'd kick a woman like that. You were ready to kill. You don't deserve special attention. I think the sheriff will know how to handle you, Mrs. Krebs. Got here a little too late to be of much help, mister. Sheriff, this masked man tried to hold us up. He wounded my son and... Sheriff, that old woman we tell you about. That's right, Sheriff. She said she didn't want to ride out with me until after dark because she didn't want anyone to know she was hunting for me. Ah, but her tell man at hotel and other people her hunt for masked man. She figured on bringing you into a trap, huh? Yes. This afternoon after we talked to her, I had Tonto watch in town. He saw her talking to her son, then he rode away from town. I told Tonto to ask you to ride out here tonight, and then I plan to have Tonto on hand in case of trouble. I wonder what they were up to, Sheriff. Why did they want to get the masked man out here? There's your answer in the kitchen doorway. Huh? Uh, Well, doggone. This is Trigger Strong line here. Yes, Strong and his partner. Tonto followed the widow and me out here and came in the back way. He found Trigger and his friend ready to shoot me from the doorway. Uh, it was all Trigger's idea. He wanted to get back to the masked man. Sheriff, you have nothing against me and Jerry. We were forced into this. Sheriff, I thought I recognized this woman. Now I remember her clearly. Though she's older and her hair is gray. Yeah? Who is she? She was known as the Widow Spider. She was arrested on two occasions in San Antonio for the murder of two husbands. One after the other. But the evidence wasn't strong enough to satisfy the jury, so she went free. (laughs) The widow spider tried to pull you into her web, mister, but you got away. (laughs) We'll take all of them into jail. Tonto and I will go on back to Pecos, Sheriff. We'll see you some other time. Adios, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, Oh, my head. Get to your feet, you. If it hadn't been for that ornery red skin, I'd have plugged that mask, man. You make me sick, Trigger Strong. You let that masked man and Indian get the best of you in spite of all your planning. Huh. Lots of polecats think they can trick that masked man. But let me tell you, you'll have to go a long way to get the best of an hombre like the Lone Ranger. This is a feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated, and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's drama was written by Fran Stryker. 
The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. 